Morning, everyone. Welcome to CBC Coding Book Club. How are we all today? Thanks for being here. Okay. Part two of Matt Davidson's, well, I call it um, Fairy Dragon, but you can call it whatever you like. I don't think he's given it a title. So I picked out a few colours. I did say last stream I was going to do him greens and um, whatever, but I changed my mind and I thought I'd get away from the bluey green and maybe do some different colours. So little man's been running around like a psycho all morning, so hopefully <laughs> he'll get tired and fall asleep. So I have yellow chartreuse. Um, 1004 to start off with, and we'll see how we go. Okay, hopefully that's all right. I can zoom in a little bit if you like, but I'll start off with the yellow chartreuse just lightly. I was going to do him last night, do a light base layer, but I thought, oh, I'll wait. So I hope everyone bought heaps of images from February and have been enjoying enjoying colouring. Wonder if everyone's getting ferried out already. <laughs> So just lightly going over to start off with. Just a light layer to start off with. Happy birthday to Diane for a few days ago. I hope you had a great day. I've also, oh, I didn't write that down, I've also got cream here, but whether I use it or not.
I put way too many. Like usual, I've already changed PDs. <laughs> so the picture's gonna come by the rain that I adore, and I couldn't wait to start on one of them. Oh, nice. I hope to see that posted on Instagram or your Facebook. She does beautiful work. Rain's lovely. All the artists are very nice. Great to work with. Very friendly. Hope everyone got their images from the giveaway. I would say so. So congratulations to them. Just a light layer to start off with. Just starting off with his head mainly at the moment. That's just his head for the moment. Now, I like the colours that are in here. But, um, let's see how we go. <laughs> so, pumpkin orange. And what I'm going to do is just light layers and build it up to start off with before I start to burnish it in. Pretty soon I'm over halfway with it. The colour. I'm colouring with you. Say what colours you're using so I can get them or close to them. Yep. Cool. Awesome. Um, I did write the colours down on the back of this actually, which is something I don't normally do. So I have the colours for the background. And for the dragon, oh, I was wrong. <laughs> I don't know what I, I might have got distracted with the cat. I don't know what happened. Um, I was starting to draw, write down the colours that I'm using for the dragon, and I forgot to do that. Hi, Isolina. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> I must have got distracted. So this one's pumpkin. Pumpkin orange, which is 1032, and I'm using Prismas. I'm just doing a few shaded areas. I was going to do him green, yellows, but um, I changed my mind. Because his eyes are yellow and she's got green and yellow wings. And I thought I might get away from those colours a little bit. And uh, with the blue background. Oh, 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 oh. How 
Hello. Oh, oh, you can tell when he climbs up my leg. Here we go. There goes the colouring out the window. He'll put his butt right down where I'm colouring. He's growing. <laughs> I started that pick but had to cover her up a bit first. <laughs> Get out of my coffee. <laughs> Hi, Selena. You haven't been here. You haven't seen him yet. <laughs> this is Wesley, for those who haven't seen him before. I don't know how old he is now. Um, 21st of October. October, November, December, January. Maybe 16 weeks. I'm not sure. I'd have to have a look. I told you, he'd plonk his butt right. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> Hello, little man. His coat is just absolutely silk, absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you. He's a little cutie. We know who rules that house. Oh, yeah, he tries to. <laughs> I really like those colours he chose for the dragon. Thank you, Diane. <laughs> He's a little terror. He's been running around like a nut all morning. And, of course, about 6.30 or so in the morning, depending on what time I go to bed at night, um, Oh, he, ha he hassled me this morning and I refused to get up and I just kept turning my head, turning over. <laughs> he come around the other side. So I turned back the other way and he come back around. Oh, he's, sh he's shocking. He's very stubborn and persist persistent and they usually are, but he is really, really stubborn and persistent and I refused to get up. So I slept in. Oh, I got up reasonably early yesterday because the farrier was supposed to be here but um, I never heard from him so I rang him about called the five I said you were supposed to be here today and he said I got busted <laughs> <'Cause he> was, <laughs> I don't know where we were I'm usually first cab off the rank in the mornings when he comes but I'm um, about 8 eight thirty. but as it turns out yeah he got pulled over by the by the police forgot to reg register his car and the cop got him for being five kilometres from home because Victoria is in a five-day lockdown again. And um, so he got, yeah, he got into trouble and he said, well, you know, I'm a farrier and the, I have to go to work. The horses need to be done, you know. It's like someone going to the doctor's sort of thing, you know. They need to be done. And he said, well, you'll have to go online and apply for an exemption whether, you know, you might be successful being in the country, but you never know. So, um, yes, he got caught out. So I never heard from him. His car was unregistered, so he had to get a lift home. Or the, apparently the cop, he said the cop gave him a lift home and then he had to get a tow truck to come and get his car because he wasn't allowed to drive it unregistered. So, um. I got up early yesterday, so this morning I was not getting up. I feel I kind of had to, but at 10 to 8, I'd had enough, and I thought, well, he's woken me up. So I might as well get up and get ready to stream. And, and I don't get to sleep in with him, so I set up for 9.30 this morning instead of just sitting around. Just do a bit of shadow under his eyes. But, yeah, because he's been running around, he might. I don't know, where is he? Oh, there he is. He's... What the hell's he got? I'll be back in a sec. He's got a bit of sheepskin fluff or something. He's got a bit of sheepskin over by the window <laughs> and he attacks it and pulls 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 tufts of sheepskin out of it. <laughs> Probably has a double coat. I play him out with a toy or two and that will help. Oh, he plays all the time. He's full on. 
What is the base layer on that dragon, Heather? It's um, yellow chartreuse is the first one that I used. And now I'm using pumpkin orange just for a bit of sh shadow, putting a bit of shading in um, at the moment. Oh, play him out with a toy. Yeah, he's got plenty. He's got toys. He plays. He loves the ball with the bell in it. Um, I think that's his favourite. And he's been carrying riffraff around at the moment. <laughs> the other night he started playing with it and then he picked it up. <laughs> this is riffraff the rat. And um, he picked it up the other night. Where's his eyes? There's his eyes. <laughs> he picked it up the other night and actually started to walk around with it. And it's like, oh, cool. <laughs> My dog is like a cat, I swear. He was a cat in another life. <laughs> yeah, the last cat I had, I swear she was a dog in another life. She was funny. <laughs> she was um, she was awesome. And he, he's just, yeah, he's awesome. Just a bit of shadow. Oh, God, is he going to climb up my leg again? And I've got, um, oh, there are ties hanging down from my T-shirt. And um, I have to tie them up around my waist because he attacks them. And, of course, he hangs off my leg. <laughs> So I have to tie them up. Yeah, I had a cat that was like more like a dog. Yeah. Oh, he's over the rainbow bridge. Yeah. So I'm just building up where the shading's going to go at the moment. Actually, haven't had a look. I haven't been on Instagram um, and had a look at any colouring from February so far. I haven't seen anyone's work. All right, plenty to go now. I might just use a bit of Dahlia purple. Not that we know dragons or anything, but um, they tend to have a lot of colour in them quite often. So where I've done the orange, I'm just adding a little bit of Dahlia purple in there as well, just lightly. So it's got a bit of variation of colour. Under the eyes, I'll go a bit darker. And I've got Tuscan Red there, which is a dark colour as well to use. Oh, I did do. No, back to the Dahlia. Never mind. Now, I did do a bit of orange in there, just a little bit. Just above his, right just above his eyelid. Then back to the Dahlia purple. A 
and the orange and the dahlia purple are quite pretty together actually. Just looking at the other colours, thinking where I'll go with this. <laughs> So where I've coloured with the pumpkin orange, I'm just adding Dahlia Purple over the top. I'm not covering quite all the orange, I'm just incorporating the two colours into each other a little bit in places. And then I'll go back to the pumpkin orange and just add a bit of both. Back to the Dahlia purple. Oh, I was waiting for it. <laughs> Hello. A bit of pumpkin orange. Oh, oh, oh. He's on my leg at the on my knee at the moment, but um, yeah, he's getting the claws out a little bit. But now he's shunting under my arm, and he's on the armchair. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Hold those. <laughs> So the general overall coat on the dragon minus the eyes is that orange. I did a, a base layer just on his head, working on his head at the moment. So I did yellow chartreuse very lightly for a base layer. And then I used the pumpkin orange for a bit of shading where the grayscale shade is. And then I'm doing a bit of Dahlia purple mixed in with the orange. <coughs> So I'm um, back to, yeah, so he's distracting me. So making some of the darker areas, I'll zoom in a little bit. Don't you jump on the laptop. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to park his butt straight on top. <laughs> <laughs> I have only gotten one done. Yeah, I haven't got much done too. Oops, I have to switch account. All right, no worries, honey. Sure, I'm back. Be right back. Food is here. Oh, yum. <laughs> back and so is Wesley. Yeah. And I thought you had just done the chart. Ah! I thought you had. Ah! I thought you had just done the chart. In the eyes. <laughs> um, well, that's all back in the first stream, and I can't even remember what colours I, <laughs> I used, actually. He's cute. So interrupted. Ow. Oh, this could, yeah. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. I just got Wesley crawl, crawling. He's on my... <laughs> he's on my lap, but his head's sticking out from under the table. <laughs> And he's looking up at me and he's, <laughs> so what can I attack? <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Well, there, more than you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so every time I put my arms, he's got both his paws there. 
You're going to fall off in a minute. Uh, the fun of having a kitten. Yes. So like I was just doing before, I've got the orange. Orange. <laughs> hey, so he is precious. He's awesome. He's so good. He is. Look, hooking in. Get out. <laughs> Yeah, he's awesome. The day I saw his photo, oh, God. The day I saw his photo, I knew there was something about him. Where's Riff Raff? Go get Riff Raff. <laughs> no, I'd rather attack your hand. You're not supposed to be hands, are supposed to be toys, mister? All right. Oh, he's in a right roll mood this morning. And they sit in there like butter wouldn't melt. Oh, excuse me. Hey, where's Riff Raff? <laughs> no, here. Go. Go get him. <gasps> where's Riff? Hey, wait. You're not supposed to be doing it. He's riffraff. Get riffraff. Go get him. Go on. Go get him. Go get him. <laughs> right, quick. <laughs> right. Back to the Dahlia purple. Back to the pump and orange. He's climbing the cat cat stand at the moment. I go over there and I touch it and he <laughs> comes running over or wherever from wherever he is on it. <laughs> Don't touch my cat stand. <laughs> he has got a beautiful coat and it is so soft. It's like silk. Absolutely beautiful. All right now more orange. I'm totally distracted now. <laughs> so I'm doing it a bit darker just under the shadow and then as I come out, just lightening off the colour. And it's amazing when you watch colourists, they put colours there and then they go over the top with another colour and you wouldn't even think you would notice the colours underneath. But it can make a big difference. And when I was playing around with the colours, um, blending over and a bit of yellow and then orange and maybe the crimson lake over the top and then a bit of purple and it was bringing up other colours. Um, so when I'm finished, he might be quite an array of colour, hopefully, if he turns out. Back to the Dahlia purple. Just make sure, yep. I can put the pencils down now that he's gone. <laughs> I 
I was starting to colour the other day. Um, I haven't got much to go in it in the Colin Thompson picture that I'm doing. And I started off and then I could hear him and he was climbing the fly wire at the back door. So I went to check on him. And he, it was cactus anyway, um, need to replace him. And I've been here 10 years, but it was pretty much had it when I moved here, um, holes in it. And, yeah, just old, need to replace him. And he pulled a little bit off down the bottom. So it's like, well, I'm, you know, I hate blowies and flies and that getting in and hot summer nights, hot summer nights, the insects get in and, so I went online and had a look because I did price it months ago, a year or so ago, and it was like $29 a metre or, you know, you name it. There was all sorts of prices. And I thought, God, Lord, screening is expensive. Anyway, I had a look online and I found some that was like $9 a metre and $5 something or $6 something a metre. And I thought, oh, I have to get this done. Um because otherwise, you know, it's like <laughs> the fly is worse than ever. So I went in and I, the guy said, "Did you want? Do you want some help?" And I said, "Yeah, fly screen." So um, he took me up anyway. There was rolls there, um, for the back door and the sliding door. One was nine ninety and the other one was eleven ninety or something, which was great for a whole roll of it. He said that that should because I took the measurements. He said that should cover it. So um, I did. So a few hours later, I had them both done. So I've got nice brand new fly screen on my window, on my doors, on the back door and the sliding door. Sorry, guys. And um, anyway, yeah, he thinks it's great. He hasn't – oh, he did bust one little tiny bit of wire on the back door, but, yeah, now he's climbing right up to the top and I can hear him, so I go and get him and he climbs back down and then <laughs> jumps off. And it's like, don't you dare put holes in that new wire. But, I mean, regardless of him climbing, it had to be done. It was just another job that I needed to do, so I got that done. So that was colouring for the day. <laughs> doing one thing and then I ended up doing the fly screen. Now that I switched the TV, switched the TV, he went away. <laughs> oh, he's back. He's on my legs again. That shot of him sticking his head out was so cute. Yeah. Sounds like he's tearing up the furniture. No, he's not. He's got the um, cat stand over there and it's got scratchy posts on it and it's got a box down the bottom and then, like, the top of the box and another box and a... And a bit of a stand and then it's got his condo up the top. So he's got like three, four layers. Um, so he climbs up the scratchy post and goes onto the condo and back down again and it's got a couple of things hanging off it for him to play with. So he's all, you know, he's all over the place. But, no, he doesn't turn up the tear up the furniture, um, which I won't allow anyway. Oh, now he's on my shoulder. <laughs> This is why I haven't been colouring much. It's just, yep, yeah, he's sleeping and I'll colour and then he wakes up and comes over and plonks his butt right on top of where I'm colouring or he jumps on my lap and wants a cuddle and then goes to sleep and my arms, you know, I've got him curled up in my arms. <laughs> Cats love boxes. They certainly do. Oh, don't. Would never have thought to put that chart colour down all over, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got the pencils. Butt stained dragon. No, his butt's clean, Sue. <laughs> Do you want to get out of the way? I'm not getting much done. Come here. Get cuddles. No, I'm too much of a live wire. I want to play. Oh, don't do that.
it's going to be slow going. Where's my coffee? Up here. Out of the way. <laughs> oh, God. See, you've got eight cats. Oh. Don't. Yeah, just sit there. Well, the other day when I was here at the desk, I tidied up my um, Ruby Charm book as well, made some adjustments, and he come up on here and he was playing away. <laughs> and he stood on, I don't know what he did, I wasn't actually watching, um, but the tray here with the pencils in it, which were, assort, which were sorted into colours that I was using, and he upended it. <laughs> He, he fell off the table and took the tray with him. The pencils went everywhere. So I ended up putting them away. So at the moment, I'm just using Dahlia Purple and um, Pumpkin Orange, and I'm just working the Pumpkin Orange and the Dahlia Purple into each other. working up these shadows a little bit. But, um, yeah, like I was saying before, you know, you watch colourists and they put all these colours and then another colour on top and another colour on top and you think, oh, that's covered up the colours that you've put there. Why bother? But um, when you layer up your colours... As you know, colours can create new colours. And it's all a part of the shading, all you know, it's um it's amazing what a difference it can make instead of just doing one or two colours um, with each other, but building them up. So you can see it's a bit darker and, you know. And as, and as the saying goes to, um, you know, thing, I mean, this might not even turn out at all, but, you know, sometimes you go through the ugly stage to get to the final, to the final outcome. My Tuscan red is getting mighty short. Yeah, I didn't think so. I won't use it. I'll get my new one because it doesn't even reach into the, sharpen it anymore. Now this is Tuscan Red and like I was just saying before you know I used orange and now Tuscan Red right in the shadow but those colours I've put there the pumpkin orange and that I will bring them out more as well as I go. So under his eye, so I want his eye to really stand out. Oh, God. Oh, yes, he's back. Oh. <coughs> back to the pumpkin orange. And I've also got Crimson Lake here. So I have got cream here, but I haven't used it so far. I might use that at a later stage. But I have... Get, I, hey, hey, hey. No, you don't. No way, Jose. Thank you very much. He's trying to climb up the, the pencil display. No. I'm waiting for the day. Like, he's getting bigger. And he jumps up on top there. I mean, it's stable, but I don't, you know, for a, and cats are pretty agile, but yeah, I don't know how, how it will go if he takes a fly and leap up the top. Or try, not climbing it though. Yeah, as you can hear, and now he's into the tray. This one is Crimson Lake. So I have, these are the colours I have. I have got cream, but I didn't write it down. Um, yellow Chartreuse 1004, Pumpkin Orange 1032. Get out of that. Oh, you're such a misfit this morning. 
Pumpkin Orange 1032, Crimson Lake 925, Tuscan Red 937, Mulberry 995, and Dahlia Purple 1009. Oh, God. I told you he was been wreaking havoc all morning. And I don't know why this, see how the colour changes. I don't know why it does that. Um, Hi, Mona. <laughs> Heather, did you see what I said about your new pencil colour rolling on the floor? It's called Kitty Butt. <laughs> Good on you, Sherry. <laughs> Kitty Butt colour. <laughs> My favourite red is Scarlet Light. It is a nice red, yes. <laughs> Get on you. <laughs> So Crimson Lake, just around his eyes. And I, I, even though I've put the Dahlia Purple, the Orange, and the Crimson Lake down, I can still get the Pumpkin Orange and blend that in as well. Bring that out. So I have quite a bit of colour around his eye. Now, I have also got the Mulberry 995, just around his eye, bring that purple down just a little bit. And then you can get the yellow chartreuse. So I don't know if you can see that, but you can see the colours start to come up in his eye. Um... So, you know, it takes a little while to build up the colour. And I can use, let's see how we go, bring the cream around. The cream's quite light. We'll just blend that purple a little bit. But I also need, um, I can use the black. Oh, it just broke. I need that sharp. Just bring that line back in a little bit around his eye. That broke and it's just a little bit jagged. Bit of chartreuse. So the purple, the the mulberry, the cream, and the and just light yellow chartreuse coming around his eye is really pretty actually. And I'll do the same on the other side. So Crimson Lake around his eye. Bring that pumpkin orange out a little bit. I'm still on the screen. Yep. That's going to be another shadow in there. And then the mulberry. They don't have to be exactly the same. Back to the pumpkin orange. Crimson Lake. So I'll really make his eye pop. What are you doing? In the cream, I didn't do that bit in there. And then just a bit of yellow chartreuse as I come around. Now, 
I can't remember what colour I used in the first stream. I don't know what I actually used. I'm just going to use, I don't know what I used in the first stream, I cannot remember, but just a light bit of bistro. Just for a bit of shadow at the start. Yeah, I need the black again, but actually instead of using that, Just use fine liner. Just to define that a little bit more. And I don't know what colour I used. Now this side here is just a, a little bit lighter, so I can use a bit of white. To bring that back, just to even, so they look, they look even now. So I hope his eyes stand out. <laughs> Neutral tone. That background is so cool. Thank you, Sherry. Okay. Just looking. All right. Back to the yellow chartreuse for the outside of all these quills, thrill, qu thrills, quills. <laughs> so I can start to blend the rest in now. Colors happening, and I'll probably do yellow chartreuse on the outside as well, just so it um separates from the background a little bit. The outer edges. Quiet, what's he up to? <laughs> <laughs> All right, pumpkin orange, just lightly. So I've had the base layer of yellow chartreuse. I've done a bit of shading up around the top there. And now I've done the chartreuse a little bit heavier on the outside. And then I'm just lightly going over with the pumpkin orange and joining it up. And then build up from there, blend, layer.
I'm still here, just kind of lurking. Lurk away, Sherry. Hello, Patty. Hello, people. Going to be lurking as I get supper ready. Yo, welcome. Hope you're having a nice supper. Thank you for being here. And I was normally streaming at 10 o'clock, but um, I did wake up, well, someone woke me up early the other week, a couple of weeks ago, so I thought, oh, well, so I started early. Then last weekend we had February, and I was scheduled for 9 o'clock. Someone woke me up again this morning like he does every other morning. And I thought, well, I don't get to sleep in now. I might as well start at 9.30, so half an hour earlier than I usually stream. But, yeah, with him, you don't get to sleep in. So um, instead of sitting around, I thought I might as well set it for a bit earlier and get started. So... Everyone, make sure they welcome Patty or any newcomers that come in. Make sure you make them feel welcome. Okay. Oh, I'm back. I keep using the pumpkin orange for a minute, I think. Oh, I'm just going to... In Chill out, enjoy the process. Um, Sometimes, you know, I've been looking at the colours for this guy and humming and harring and played around with different colours. I did have, like, I did say greens and yellows and I played around with them and I thought, nah, with the background, um, I'll get away from those colours and make him stand out a bit more, I think. And the flowers... Flowers are a yellowy, purple, orangey colours as well, so he'll be sort of similar with the flowers. So I changed my mind and Crimson Lake, bring that out more. Thought I'd use these colours instead. So I've been looking at him a little bit, thought, what colours will I use? And sometimes it's like, oh, I don't know. And I don't know how this is going to go, whether it will work out or not. And this is why it's good to start off light, because if you don't like it, you have the opportunity to adjust. I mean, I couldn't put greens and blues. I could but greens and blues and change the colour. It'd be similar colours, but if you don't like the way it's turning out, you can change it around a bit. You know, from reds to browns or darker purples or whatever the case may be. So I'm just using the crimson lake, just doing a few light layers. So sometimes you really don't know how it's going to turn out. Now I might just try a little bit of cream here. Just blend it in a little bit just to see how we go. Where are you? Where's the darker one? Dahlia purple. Back in for some shadow. And then back to the Crimson Lake. 
Blend that out a bit more. So basically, you've got the shadow there. And then back to the pumpkin orange, which needs to do with a sharpen actually. The crimson lake, the orange, pumpkin orange into the yellow is quite pretty. It's lightening off as I come out. So when I'm finished, you'll be quite colourful. <laughs> So I'm just working that out, but as I come out, I'm lightening it off a bit too, so I can blend the sh yellow chartreuse in with the rest of it. So it all blends. I don't want it to have a sharp line between colours. And I just tried the cream down the bottom there to see how it would go. And it's not too bad because um, the yellow chartreuse is quite bright. Now I'm just blending the orange in with the yellow, the pumpkin orange in with the yellow chartreuse. Or you can grab a blend a pencil and do it that way as well. More crimson lake in there. Not oh, fantastic with this five day lockdown. We've got the Australian Open tennis on at the moment. So they're playing tennis and there's no crowd. <laughs> everyone, uh, not last night, the night before, 11 30, they kicked everyone out. <laughs> Told everyone to go home and be home by eleven o'clock uh, by twelve o'clock. It's like, well, you've got half an hour to get home. <laughs> That's crazy. No worries, Rochelle. It looks amazing on TV. <laughs> Thank you, Isa Luna. I can't imagine. Um, you have such a knack for layers. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, guys. Hey, B. Looking awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Angie. Someone's very quiet at the moment. I don't know where he's gone. So, um, but I mean, for the work that I've done when I started stream, um, it's starting to build up, build up some colour. I'd like to blend that just a little bit more that red and the orange so I can just use a bit more pumpkin orange there just to smooth that out because so, I could see a slight line in there there you go so as you can see it's going to take a bit of work now this yellow chartreuse is um it's quite bright I could have used cream instead. Cream would have looked good. I did a dragon a couple of years ago with um, cream, uh, cream, 
pumpkin orange. Not sure if it's crimson lake or another red and Tuscan red. And um and I've sort of gone by those colours but but just changed it up a bit. <laughs> Hi Della. Happy Valentine's Day, yeah. Oh, they had the news this morning. Um, a florist doing the weather, I think. I think they'll do she was doing the weather. And it, they just had an order come in for a thousand dollars worth of red roses. God Lord, you know, a thousand dollars worth of roses. Beautiful at the time, but they're gonna die. <laughs> And you can put flat lemonade or in, or the florist gives you a um a, a solution that you can put in there, and they last quite a few weeks. But a thousand dollars, God Lord. He's quiet. He must be sleeping somewhere. So he should be the way he's been running around all morning. All right. So now that I've done that side, I have to do the other side. Now, once again, Dahlia Purple for the shadow. And once you get the base colours down and you get an idea of where you're going and how it looks and if you like it or not, and you can just build it up. And I don't mind the colours in there. They're quite quite fiery. So I'm um, Dahlia Purple. And I'm using the Pumpkin Orange first because the Crimson Lake on top of the orange gives it a different type of red. And this is what I was saying earlier about layering the colours underneath. It's like, well, now you can't even see that colour. But to be honest, if you watch some of the artists with that colour and they build it up, it does make a difference. Creates new colour. Now, I think it was in the sample that I did here, I think... I did a bit of Dahlia Purple and then Crimson Lake over the top and it brought brought up this darkish, nice red. And I can use the Dahlia Purple. I'll sharpen him up though. So he hasn't got, he's got lines on this side, but he didn't have lines on this side. But on this side, he's, um, he's got lines. Oops, that's why I want the pencil sharp. And I'm going reasonably heavy with the Dahlia Purple. So those lines stand out a little bit. <clears throat> but he hasn't got any on that side. Okay, Crimson Lake. Will I get this all done on stream? No, this is going to take forever.
enjoying the lockdown, B. <laughs> well, I guess we can't go out, so spend money on flowers instead. <laughs> My issue is just knowing which base layers to put down. <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> My issue is just knowing which base layers. Well, it depends what colour you'd like it to be. Um, and I spent, you know, a bit of time yesterday playing around with colours and I did end up burning it last night. I had the fire going. In. I was going to keep it, and I thought, no, I don't need it, and I chucked it out. But if I had it now, I wish you see. I wish I had kept it now. Um, I could show you how I played around with different colours. Yeah, see, now I wish I had it. Playing around with different colours and how I completely changed my mind from, from like, lime, green, bright greens, um, peacock blue. What else did I have in there? And I thought it's getting a bit dark with the background. Um, although purples would look nice. That's why I put some Dahlia purple into him as well. And Mulberry um, just for a bit of highlights of purple here and there. But I thought, no, nah, it's – he blends in with the background a bit too much. Um, I'd like him to stand out a bit more. And because his eyes are yellow, I wanted to make his eyes pop too. And I thought a dark red um, and dark purples and colours like that with his eyes would make his eyes pop, make his eyes stand out. So that's why I decided to change to these colours. I'm still not sure about the um, the yellow chartreuse. It's very, very bright. I might be able to bring it back a bit with white. Um, and I've got the cream there as well. But it is very, very bright. But it's all about enjoying the process as well. Take your time and um, you know I've said many times like I'm not a you know I'm a slow colorist. Uh, off screen, off stream, I take my time and just enjoy the process a bit more. Um, when I stream, I feel a bit more rushed to get it done. But then you know you watch plenty of streamers and. You know, they colour slow and just take their time, enjoy the process. It's not a race. If it takes several streams to get it done, so be it. Back to the Crimson Lake. And the other thing I'm doing at the moment, I did that side now, I'm doing that side. You could also do the process both sides as you go, um, which gives you more of a chance of them turning out the same. Go from one side back to the other. and But I can put this crimson lake down. And then go over with the orange and blend it out like I did with the other side. And if I don't like the chartreuse, I could always bring the orange out a little more. Which is a bit better actually. Um, a bit just a bit 
less yellow. And it also brings that yellow back a bit too, actually. It's not so bright. So that's another way if you think yellow is too bright and you don't really like it, you can bring it, bring it back just a little bit. See a slight line there. So I can grab the cream, just blend that in a bit. Smooth that out. I only want a little bit of yellow really just for the very edge, not too much. And then I can go and do another layer and start to go a bit harder now and blend that crimson lake and the orange in as I go. Thankfully, we are in lockdown for the most part. No worries, babe. Um, he'll really pop off the page. I hope so, Angie. That's, I, yeah, that's why I changed my colours. I thought I'll make him pop more instead of using the colours I was going to use. Um, and it sort of, he would have popped with the colours I wanted. They were nice and bright. For the background, but just too too much too much blue. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. Okay, can't stay long. Got to spend time with the hubby. Yep, no worries. Yeah, it's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, Cam. Enjoy your day, guys. And cuddles for Nani and Shadow, yeah. Had to get a blanket on, it's freezing here. Yeah, you guys have had it quite cool. Um, we've got a few hot days coming up. I had the fire going last night and it was quite cool this morning, so I was humming and harring. I've got it ready, but it's supposed to be 22 degrees Celsius today, which is, you know, quite nice. Um, so I opted out and I thought, Oh, I'll persevere. Hopefully I won't get cold. And I've actually got the sliding door here open at the moment. And it's not too bad. The sun's trying to come through because it was quite overcast this morning. Looked like it even might drizzle. But Now, instead of just layering and going over and over and over, I can use the blender pencil. Now, going from dark to light is bringing the darker colour onto that neo, neon, <laughs> yellow, neon, yellow chartreuse. I just clean my um, blender pencil up. Now, I don't want too much yellow there, but like I was saying, if you bring the, the darker onto the light, it'll drag onto the yellow and then you'll have none left. And I want a little bit to stay. So I cleaned my blender pencil and I started where the yellow is and blend that in first with the orange. And then I can do the darker colours. So this is just another way to save doing layer upon layer upon layer. Makes it a little bit quicker. Get rid of any white on the page. 
which I can't stand. <laughs> I don't like seeing the white through. I like it to be solid. Now that's about as much yellow as I really want to show. Now make sure the cream is clean. And then I can just go around the edge. Tidy it up a little bit. Okay, now just a little bit of an adjustment in there. Right. Okay. I might use a bit more cream around his eye. Sure, it's clean. Crimson Lake. He hasn't really got one on that side. It's a bit different. of Dahlia Purple and to the Mulberry A little bit of more orange in here. And then lighten it up as I come out. Now I might try a bit of cream. to lighten it up a little bit. Back to the crimson, oh, actually, duh, um, Tuscan red for the dark, real dark. Then the crimson lake. So that purple, dahlia purple, or mulberry, and then the red over the top, gives it a pinky red, and then I can just go a bit harder and darken it up, and it is so pretty, it's a beautiful colour.
Now he's got a bit more of a line. It does go all the way across, I suppose. But I can blend that in a bit. Oh, he's going to be a multicolored dragon, this baby. <laughs> Very pretty colors, though. I'll try a little bit. Of chartreuse. That is quite pretty actually. And then just a bit of pumpkin orange darker just down the bottom. Oh, it's quite pretty actually. Now I might just grab the blender pencil. Just blend that in a little bit. Quite a pretty colour actually, but I'd like to um, smooth that out a bit. So I'll just grab the cream. <laughs> That's quite pretty. Just tidy it up a bit. No worries, Isolina. Oh, a snowstorm within two weeks of each other, maybe snow again today. Oh. Looks like a storm coming here. Not supposed to, or not here anyway. Isolina, stay warm. It's cold here too. I'm in northern upstate New York. It's two snowstorms back to back. Oh, God. You have to get out the shovels. Not long to go, guys, and you'll be coming into spring and we'll be going into fall or autumn, as we call it in Australia. Um, just out of curiosity, do you have any art schooling? <laughs> no, none whatsoever. <laughs> Naturally talented. <laughs> Thanks, Sherry, if you reckon. Hi, Tammy. We have Drizzle up north at the moment. Um, no, the only art I did was at school and I actually hated it because I wanted to draw what I wanted to draw, not what they tell you to draw. Um, you know, I love dragons, medieval um, creatures, monsters, um fantasy and all that sort of stuff you know and when they tell you to draw something that you don't want to draw it's no fun at all um <laughs> crimson lake um i've been drawing ever since i can remember um my mum and dad had a pacer when i was four years old which is like harness racing horses and um i used to get out the books and draw horses in harness. Wish I had them now, um, because I was quite, you know, very young when I, st you know, just picked up a pencil and I could do it. Um, if I, you know, if I wanted to, I could get a piece of paper and draw this and copy it to a T. But to draw out of my imagination, hopeless. And one of the first things when I was very, very young, I had a Tom and Jerry book. And when you're a kid, if you have the books, um, the, the like the colouring books, and they used to have tracing paper between each page and you could trace. And, um, you know, with the tracing paper, I'd be constantly lifting up the paper to see underneath and I thought, this is ridiculous. So in the end, I'd just get my finger and get a piece of paper and just pick a spot like could be this size compared to this size or the other way around and um, just size it up on the piece of paper. I do not use grids. I can't stand grids, just a personal thing. Um, I'll just size it up, you know, from this size to this size and line it up and like, yep, his head would be here, she'd be here, flower here, pick a spot and just start drawing. And um, 
that's that's my art. <laughs> that's just yeah. Always love coloring. Always been looking for even as an adult. Always looking for coloring books, and it's like they're always kids, kids books. This is pumpkin orange. I could never find anything for adults, and I did think we need an adult coloring book. And I thought I don't want to go through all that, you know, publishing and all that sort of stuff because um, it can be an absolute headache trying to find a publisher and, you know, and they turn around, oh, there's no market for it and all, you know, all that sort of stuff. And next minute, you know, all this um, adult colouring fad, fad started. So no, no formal art school or study or anything like that. Um, you know, I mean, you've got the colour wheel here, you know, opposites and blah, blah, blah. I couldn't care less about any of it, to be honest with you. Um, I just choose colours and what goes, you know, what suits and what doesn't and all all the rest. Of, I have this. Have I used it? No, not, no, not really. Um, I've looked at it a couple of times and then just gone, yeah, like, Blue and green shouldn't be seen without a colour in between. Well, I like blue and green together. Um, I just, yeah, <laughs> I just put colours with colours. I don't really care. I'm not into the technical side of it. Couldn't really care less about it. Um, Tuscan red, what goes, goes sort of thing. Um I have, you know, a lot of people in chat and I love the colours you've chosen or they go beautifully together and all the rest of it. Well, that's like yesterday and I sat here and just played around with colours. Started off with blues, greens, sort of, you know, peacock blue colours, like, you know, those sort of colours. I thought, no, nah, they're going to blend in with the background too much. So I ended up with reds, oranges and purples. <laughs> And just play it around, and that's how I come up, you know, with the colours. Or I look at an image and go, that would look really good if it was, you know, whatever colour, certain colour. So, no, don't care about them. Um, this is why I'm putting a little bit of yellow chartreuse just to define him from a bit of contrast from the background. And also Tuscan red and then you put the yellow chartreuse. If they blend together, they make a, a real nice orangey colour as well. So the colours that I have picked out at the moment that I'm using um, all blend nicely together, work with each other, and that's why I played around with this um, you know, testing, say, the Dahlia purple, then the Crimson Lake on top of it, and then the purple with it and getting new colours out of it and seeing, you know, they all blend together and they all go, they all complement each other and go nice together. So as far as um, using the colour wheels and that, Quite a lot to be defiant and choose what I want to choose, whatever. <laughs> well, you have a natural gift then. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. Oh, cool. You telling your age with those colouring books with the tracing paper? And yes, I'm 54, Sue. I'll be 55 in May, heaven forbid. Um, so, yep, yeah. I'm not, you know, some people, we age, you know, you don't tell your age and that I couldn't, I'm one of those people, I couldn't, your age is your age, there's no hiding it, <laughs> I couldn't care less, <laughs> but yeah, I'm 54 in May, uh, 55 in May, I actually find that thing quite useful. So, Sue, are you telling your age as well, can you remember the books that I'm talking about? <laughs> the kids colouring books with tracing paper in them I actually find that thing quite useful yes a lot of people do and it is useful um it is good to look at and see you know what colors and 
get ideas. Um, someone was saying about backgrounds. Um, was it you, Sherry? Don't know what base colour to use. Um, this is where this can come in handy and you can have a look and see and get ideas from it. Hello, Helen. Natural talent. Um, that's natural talent, Heather. You do have a knack of colours. <laughs> Thank you, Diane. Uh, all right, you got a new hairstyle, Helen. Nice. Oh, Sherry, you're 52, so you're not 53 this summer. Yep, you're not far behind. Oh, nice. Yeah, I should use it more. Yep, if, it, if you know, they do, it does come in handy. Um, some sort of a colour chart. Thanks, Sherry, everyone really likes it. Oh, awesome. I'm sure it looks good, Helen. Makes you feel all fresh and frisky. <laughs> Hope you went out when you get your hair done or you buy new clothes. You always want to go out that night. Um, that's if you can with this COVID and everything. I am as good as can be. Oh, you had it cut super short. Oh, wow. How, was your hair long before? Like, I mean, long, very long. Um, so, you know, a bit like a huge change. I'm 61, love paper doll and those colouring books. I remember well. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I've always pretty much had long, long hair and I did. I got it cut up to my shoulders one day or if not a bit shorter than that. And I come home and my dad was like, oh, because <laughs> I think you like me having long hair and he freaked out a bit. But um, my hair is really long and as you can see, I haven't had it cut for, well, since I went and met Fibs in Melbourne, which is like two, nearly three years ago with COVID and everything, I just aged. It's going grey. It's horrible. It's tatty. It needs to be cut off. It goes right down to my butt crack. And the cat loves to attack it and hang off it. If I'm leaning over and my hair's hanging down, yeah, he goes for it. So um, <clears throat> it needs to be cut. But now we're in lockdown again. I mean, I can't get it cut at the moment. I've had other things. I've got the vet next week, so... You know, that's that out for the moment. Tuscan red. Shut up and colour. Um, so I won't be able to get it done. And my tooth with the band on it is starting to aggravate me and hurt a little bit now and again. I, had to, I took a couple of Panadol to settle it down a bit the other day. And I thought, uh oh, I'm going to have to get that done. And as you know, dentists are mega dollars. So, um, yeah, hair will have to wait a bit longer. <laughs> and, of course, I suppose something else will happen. Touch wood, it doesn't. Um, need to save up for tyres on my car this year too, I think. I've had my car, well, been here 10 years. So 10 years, um, those tyres have lasted me because I don't go out much. Brand new car, it's only got like 66, 67,000 on it at, at the moment. I got it serviced last week and they laugh at me. <laughs> 10 years, you got 66,000 on it. It's like, don't go out much. It's like, nope. Pumpkin orange. So, yeah, all these things add up. So, yeah, if it's not hair, it's something else. So one thing at a time, I've had my car serviced, horse's teeth have been done, tank stands fixed, got car registration and insurance coming up in April, rates, at, land rates at the end of the month. <laughs> it just doesn't bloody stop, does it? <laughs> we all know how that goes. So that was pumpkin orange, just a bit more... Um, Crimson Lake, oh, just make sure, Crimson Lake, he's going to be a rainbow of colour, this guy, but blending all the colours in and different shades, if he doesn't work out, I'll throw him out. <laughs> oh. 
I want a bit more, no, wrong colour. Um, a bit more mulberry. Just in there. Now for some pumpkin orange. And a girlfriend on Facebook, she posted a picture of her mat. She bought, I don't know whether it's a shampooer or a steam clean, carpet steam cleaner, but her mat, absolutely amazing. Um, it looks brand new and she had before and after shots and, oh, my goodness, and it's like, wow, $799. And it's like, well, I'd want to be bloody good for that price. And I was researching, I don't know, maybe about 12 months ago nearly. And because, um, you know, you have dogs, they have accidents, they throw up and get stains on the carpet, whatever, whatever else, just stains. Old carpet when I moved in. So um, I've never replaced it in the 10 years I've been here. It certainly needs it. But that machine, unbelievable. Oh my God, her mat looks amazing. And it's like, so I started, so she got me researching again and yet again I gave up. And it's like, do you get a shampooer and it leaves a sticky residue? Do you get a steam cleaner? Steam cleaner does a deeper clean and clean, kills bacteria and all that stuff. And then you read somewhere else and you Google some more and it says no shampooing gets rid of stains better than steam cleaning. And then you read more and the steam cleaner does a better job than shampooing. It's like, oh, I give up. Honestly, seriously, I don't know what she got, but um, the mat looks amazing. But I gave up because different, differing, differing opinions. Yet again, you know, it's like, well, this one says this one's better, and this one says this one's better, and it's like, well, which one is better? <laughs> oh God! Oh, yes, it was a long time for a change. We are going out for my birthday next week. Um, it'll be 68. Uh, <laughs> oh, Helen, happy birthday for next week, sweetheart. Hope you have a wonderful evening. I trim my own to keep it healthy. Yeah, I've been known to do that. My fringe gets around down in my eyes and makes me a bit cranky, to be honest. I can't stand it, so I'll get the scissors and go... <laughs> And I hate raggedy ends. Yeah, so do I. I've chopped this a couple. Look, look at that end. Look, it's just disgusting. Like it needs inches. It needs, look at that. That's terrible. It needs heaps. I want it cut up. I want it cut. It's down to my butt crack, and I want about a third of it taken off. I want, like, yep, yeah, I want a heap of it taken off. And it's got to be cut and coloured and whatever. Oh. Yeah, Rochelle, have, what hell do I have five years on you? No worries, Sherry. Going to have my hair done Wednesday, weather permitting getting two inches off. Yep. I want about 10 inches off, I think. <laughs> and I don't go anywhere or do anything and not out to impress anyone, so who cares? <laughs> I'm just at home. <laughs> I only go into town to do shopping <laughs> and come home. Uh, I couldn't care less about, you know, makeup, going out, boyfriends, all that anymore. I couldn't care less about any of it now. It was a lot. Hopefully it would be too bad. You'll be able to get it done. Now. It's about three or four inches past my shoulders. Yep. Have a shampoo steam cleaner and you like your steam cleaner. Your um, shampoo. I have a shampoo steam cleaner. So, Tammy, it does both. That sounds pretty good. What have you got? Give me all the details. <laughs> I'd love one that does both. That would be awesome in the one machine. Well, a couple of thousand dollars worth. <laughs> Vacuum cleaners are so expensive. It's ridiculous. Just for a vacuum cleaner. That is so expensive. You should keep it trimmed, though, just to keep it healthy. Yeah, I do cut the ends off. Um, but I know it's probably, you know, 
I'm just going to end up crooked anyway. My, you're halfway down your back. One was just below my shoulder, so it was a big change. It's time for health issues. It was falling out and getting so thin. Oh. Um, sulfur free is best too. It's funny you say that um, because eggs have natural biotin in it, which is excellent for I always say hoof and hair growth because for horses, um, but for hair growth and everything like your nails and everything, which is hair anyway, um, natural biotin is in eggs. And if you, if you like eggs and eat eggs, it is excellent for hair, for hair health and all that sort of stuff. But in saying that, eggs have a lot of sulfur in them. <laughs> and here's Sherry, sulfur free is best too. <laughs> And that's what, yeah, made me think of that because um, eggs have a lot of sulphur in them. No, it is wash and go, yep. Yes, when you start to shed, it is time for a cut to keep healthy. Oh, mine sheds all the time. And apparently we, we lose about 200 hairs a day. Um, it was only a couple of hundred. I will go look. Oh, Tammy, thank you. That's all right. Yeah, golf, golfries. I know. I know. I was researching and having a look last night. I think I found. I found one for seven ninety nine. That she. Um, I think the might be the one she got. Whether she got it at Good Guys or Godfrey's, I don't know. Um. I'll find all that out eventually. But I can't do that at the moment. I've got other stuff I need to get done first, like my hair, my tooth. Um, yeah, but, um, yeah, anyway, I found one that she was, I think, is the one she got. All right, a bit more pumpkin orange. And there was two of them, and I read the reviews, and there were some good reviews, and there were some quite bad reviews. But if that's the one she got, um, <laughs> looked excellent. Now he's got a ridge between underneath, so going down on this side is darker, and then on this side as well. Actually, I'll grab the Tuscan red. Make that darker in there. Sometimes if you're colouring and you have a bit of trouble defining where shadows and things are, if you have a second printout of your picture, like a PDF download, um, you can get that one out and compare so you know where you're actually got your great, like if great, for example, um, where the shadows are and things, get out the original, another copy and, and compare them. That helps as well. It was from Godfrey's. Yep, couldn't find a brand name on it. It's blue. <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. That's smart. <laughs> um, I, I might copy these colours, Heather. I love them. You're quite welcome to it. Heather, have you seen my new self photo? That's about how long it was. No, I haven't, honey. But yeah, you can get the get another copy out and um and look at that one. The Tuscan red needs to be sharpened because I want them to be dark. Mm -hmm. 
But up the top, we use just a little bit of neon yellow. Just in a couple places there, just a little bit. And then the pumpkin orange. Bit heavier up around the top just underneath there bit of crimson lake but to, and I swap a lot I say it nearly every stream or again <laughs> but yeah I do I swap my pencils a lot I guess a lot of people do but I can only speak for myself with the process that I'm using, what I do. Now we've got a bit of shade, shadow on top of that. Cool, Sherry, no worries. I think we are Facebook friends, right? Um, probably not. I have a few... Um, people on my friend, but I keep my I keep my Facebook page separate for colouring from my personal because, like I've said before, a lot of people, you know, my personal friends from school and whatever aren't into colouring, so I keep them separate. Um, try and keep the people separate. I have a few there. Um, I have a, a few artists as friends because we had to communicate. Um, during the giveaways and things like that. Um, I have a few on there, but I do try and keep it separate. So I don't think we are, girl. And I got so many, I got heaps of requests from different people and you know, a couple I know and, of course, friends of friends, so they had, you know, and I feel guilty declining. And it's like, I don't know who you are. And a lot of them, to be honest, are just after numbers anyway. And it's like, I'm not into that, you know. Like, And then when they do it, you add them on as friends, you don't, you know, that you don't communicate, you don't have anything to do with each other kind of thing. And it's like, oh, it's just Facebook. <laughs> Back to the Tuscan red. I'm going to sharpen that. I want that sharp. Just outlining. So there's a difference. Back to the pumpkin orange. A little bit of crimson lake. So yeah, in the end I end up, you know, I feel a bit guilty, but it's like I shouldn't have should have declined in the first place because I end up taking them off because I don't know who they are. I've never heard of them, never seen them before. They're just friends of someone else that I've become friends with and don't see their posts. And another thing is you don't you end up not seeing your personal friends, um, their posts. You know, I've got friends on there I don't even – I don't see their posts unless you go to their actual f page. So you miss out 
on seeing their stuff as well. Now, this one's cream. Just blending that in. And the cream on top of the pumpkin orange and the crimson red is quite pretty as well. He's <laughs> going to be all sorts of colours, this little fella. Back to the pumpkin orange. I'm all over the shop here. Bit of this, bit of that. Now for the cream again, but it needs a sharpen. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> gotcha. Know what you mean. Yep, okie dokie. Um, you shouldn't. Dale just got home from work. He bought me from flowers and an adorable white teddy bear with a big red heart. Oh, Helen, that's lovely. Oh, what a sweetie. Oh. <laughs> when he wants to be. <laughs> All right, just sharpening the cream. I'm just blending this orange. Bring the pumpkin orange out a bit because I only want a little bit of that yellow chartreuse showing. down a bit and I also need to outline this pumpkin orange Blend that in a little bit more. And the other side as well. I'm going in reasonably hard with the cream. A fair bit of pressure. I can put just a little bit of yellow chartreuse because it is on the other side as well. Now I've got the blender pencil. I can also use that. Move some of it out a little bit. Hopefully his eyes pop. It's different colour on screen. I don't know why it goes different colour. Just, yeah, I don't know why it's doing that, but um, it does go a bit different. Now, I might have a break from him. Goodness me, it's only two hours. Heaven forbid. Hi, Joanna. And then I'm trying to send... Oh, Diane. And then I'm trying to send you a few dollars. You don't have that, but none of these details shows PayPal. I have got PayPal, sweetheart. Well, look at him. <laughs> And at PayPal, it says you only accept dollars on your website. It doesn't show any place to send. I don't know how it works. Um, I've got PayPal there, but I don't know. You only accept dollars on your website. 
It doesn't show any place to send you. Oh, I don't know. Oh, darling. Thank you for the lovely thought. Oh, thank you, booze. <laughs> um, you don't have to be sorry you're late. Joanna, that's all right. Thank you for popping in. Mine used to give me presents when he did something wrong. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. um, I do know that I was at 980, someone left, but um, I'm only like 20 or so. Once I get to a 1,000 or over, um, I might try and monetize it. Um, but that's not what I'm here for. I'm just here to have fun and chat and play and colour and have a laugh. But, um, yeah, when I reach a 1,000 and it stays over a 1,000, um, I'll give it a while because, you know, people leave as well. Um, it'll have to be time for a 1,000 a subscriber giveaway, I reckon. have to organise something there. Back to the pumpkin orange. So I did a base layer very lightly at the start of stream with the yellow chartreuse and you can only just his head at the moment, just working on his head. Oh, I was going to have a break. Um, and you can't even really tell. Oh, Diane, that's so nice of you. Thank you for that lovely thought. I don't know how it works with PayPal. I thought you just click on it and just send <laughs> I don't I don't really know A bit of cream I might have to think about how I'm going to go in there not too sure. Back to the pumpkin orange for a second. I might think about that for a minute, I think. All right, I'm going to use a polychromo. I love the yellow. Is it yellow ochre? Is that the one? Brown ochre. Oh, there it is. Green gold, that's what I was after. I put it in with the Prismas. Yep, the green gold is what I want. Well, I'll use those two, actually. And, yeah, maybe that one. I'll, I'll see how we go. All right. Light yellow ochre. Heather, do you get Amazon deliveries? Yes, I get Amazon deliveries. I'm a Prime member with Australia. Um, speaking of Amazon deliveries, um, I've ordered Kirby. I said I wasn't buying anything this year, but um, the only thing I bought is a folder that I needed for the PDFs for the... Um, February, because the other one's full, and some clear plastic pockets. But I've been pretty good. But I Amazon has like if you use the app, you get it the the app you get a ten dollar discount or whatever it is. And um and I actually downloaded the app so I could get the discount that didn't work. So I notified them so they gave me. A thing where I could use it 
next time and um, give me the discount. Anyway, Kirby's new book, um, Fragile Worlds, looks awesome. So I ordered that online, not on, not on my app, and they applied the discount. So I got Kirby's book for $8.50, bargain because I'm a Prime member, it was free delivery as well. So that was an absolute bargain. So I was happy with that. So I ordered that. And finally, my Christmas, Santa Christmas, Santa's Christmas or whatever it is from Ruth um, Sanderson, is finally, because they couldn't get a hold of it. They couldn't find it. Um, they were having a hard time with it, so I just let it go. But finally, it's been delivered, it's been sent as well. So they'll both be on their, they're both on their way now. Finally. So, um, and they will be arriving sooner than expected. So that's even better. But who knows now with COVID, it might be a bit more of, of a delay now. Now, this one is brown ochre. Now, I'm going to grab the white. Just to highlight that bit there, that look, looks a bit funny at the moment. I need a line on there. And then I might just use the cream. And then back to the brown ochre. Might have to fix that up a bit. And I, you know, I've had people ask me in the past about wish lists and stuff, and it's like, it's not, you know, thank you, but I'm not here for that. Um, but my wish lists are there, but that's exactly what they are, just a wish list. I looked into being affiliate. It's honestly not worth it. Some people might think it is, but it's not. Unless you're selling... Um, TVs and, you know, products that are $1,000 and all that sort of stuff. Um, the, the amount that you get off the books and art supplies and that is just a few cents. And I was just, don't worry about it. <laughs> it's not worth it. Um, green gold. So I sort of hooked into being an affiliate and it, and they, I don't know, they said it was going to expire or something because I hadn't used it or something or other, and it's like, yeah, well, I don't really care. So um, <laughs> I didn't worry about it. I need a darker brown. Um, a bistre in the poly. So I'm using all polys on her outfit. I think that's too... Two, 179 is Bistre. I haven't worried about the numbers. They're hard to see when they're gold. Oh. Um, I may be very old, but the time I see it, I may be very old, but the time I see a thousand. Oh, I may be very old by the time I see it. I get you now. You'll get there, Joanna. You'll get there, honey. Um, I've cooked, you know, cooked my own goose a few times with, you know, a few things that I have said um, in the past, exposing scammer and, and, and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, <laughs> be there or don't kind of thing. Um, I say it as, how it is. I speak, you know, openly, honestly, don't hold back kind of thing. Some people don't like that. Well, you know. <laughs> um, and I had to reboot. Response, sorry. 
But I'm having fun getting there. Yeah, well, that's all. That's what it's about, Joanna, just having fun. That's exactly right, Angie. Yep, yeah, it's about having fun. Let me look at PayPal again. Oh, God, love you. Heather, do you get Amazon deliveries? I saw that. Uh, what did PayPal say? Fabulous. <laughs> what did PayPal say? Fabulous. <laughs> um, I pre order the Kirby book and the Joanna, but won't see them for another month. Yeah, sometimes it can take a while. There's plenty on YouTube that have them already. I saw a couple of flip throughs and it's like, wow, they've all got them already. I only come out on the 4th of February and they've got them and they're colouring already. <laughs> yeah, it was a good price. $8.50 was really good. So you ordered from the Kirby site? No, I ordered it off Amazon. That's wonderful, Heather. Definitely a bargain. Not to be gross, but does she have? <laughs> Not to be gross, but does she have a nippy? <laughs> oh, I reckon she has, but you can't see it behind her clothes. <laughs> She's not on high beam. <laughs> ah! No, I don't want to be an affiliate and be told what to think. <laughs> I'm so lost in yet another diamond painting. So I had to add a wee bit of extra cloth around the butt. What? She's got a sexy butt. <laughs> she's got a hot, high, it's high cut. I don't even know if she's got any knickers on, to be honest. You'll have to ask Matt that. <laughs> well, lost his head another time. <laughs> well, I only pre order them. You can only pre order. Well, people have got them already. Heaps of people have got Kirby's new book already. So I don't know why. I'm just going to do a bit of outline. She's got a sexy butt. She's got a gorgeous figure. Oh, I wish. <laughs> just a few couple of creases. So this is Bistro. Bistro always reminds me of Bistro. <laughs> so you didn't you thought she was a bit her outfit's a bit skimpy, Sherry? <laughs> right, she's a sexy fairy, she's gorgeous. And I love dragons, so I was so happy to colour these. Just a bit of shading under there. Now, not really happy with the um, top of her outfit. Might have to try to fix that up a bit. It's quite glary, actually. <laughs> I got a curry. I got a curvy figure, but all curves the wrong way. <laughs> What's going on here? Um, Heather and everyone else have a great Valentine's Day tomorrow. You too, Rochelle. Overseas, not here, not in the States, Heather. Oh, okay. If you go on YouTube and look for flip throughs, there's heaps of people that have got them. Oh, good night, Rochelle. You too. Yeah, have a yeah. I'm not sure if you were heading off, Rochelle. Maybe you are. Have a wonderful Valentine's and evening. Hope you get something nice if you've got hubby, or even if you haven't, hope you get something nice. Who 
<laughs> but I love the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> hey Abby, goodness Heather, I just woke up. Oh, good, Kimmy. I'm glad you, you had a good sleep. By the sound of it, awesome. Well, I hope you had a good sleep, girl. Hang on, I've just got to go to the loo for a sec. I'll do an outfit in a second. I'll be back in a sec, guys. Oh, that's all, Diane. Thank you. I'll have a look at that after it says go to the website to accept or something or other. So I'll have, thank you so much. So it worked by the look of it. I'll have a look and I'll I'll let you know on Facebook. Um, thank you so much. God love you. All right, cream. Oh, that feels better. <laughs> I've been hanging out to go for a while, actually. Um, back to the light yellow ochre. Just bring that out from the shading. Bit of colour. I colour there and I feel like she's <laughs> a bit of a pot belly. I feel like she's pregnant. <laughs> Just a tad. Yeah, she's got some um, sort of spots on it. Reminds me of um, suede a little bit. I'm just blending. I've got the shadow underneath those little that holds her outfit together, the ties. And I just blend them out a little bit. And I just lightly go over with this light yellow ochre. But I still want it to have a bit of um highlight in it. Now, for the dragon, he's going to take me ages. I might do some off stream, but I know you've Diane, I think it's you, you're colouring along with me. Um, it'll be the same process with what I've done on this stream, just the darker areas and blending it, bringing it out as I go. I've still got that. Baker's dozen picture to finish that I started on stream, but Christmas is well and truly over now. <laughs> so, all right, now I might even use the pumpkin orange just on these ties on the very edges. And then in the middle, oops. 
Um, I'll use Deco Yellow 1011 in the Prisma, just in the centre, just to blend them out a little bit. And see, I'm not keen on the orange, so I'd like a darker colour. Oh, not a colour soft. What will I use? Dark brown. It was. I thought so. The inside kind of. I thought so too. It looks kind of feminine. Yes, Heather, I'm colouring with you. Happy belated birthday. If it was. Yeah, it was. It was on the tip. Yep. Mona, I was thinking it is a she dragon also. She sent me a vibe that she is of the female. You think? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know about the colours, but um, I was thinking it was a male. Um, protective of his female fairy. I said that last stream, actually. Um, about being a male um, and being protective because, you know, if you've got a, a male dog that's still, you know, got his jewels, um, they can be quite protective of the female of the household. I'm just underlining the tie on her outfit just a bit, just to darken it up a bit. So I'm not that keen on the orange. I just want a bit more colour in this. Back to the bistro. Sits out from her back just a tiny bit. Okay. I'm going to think about you, Sherry. <laughs> a bit skimpy for you. <laughs> I think she's gorgeous. Okay. Now, I've got my colour. Oh, get rid of them because they were for her outfit. So I'll end up with half a dozen pencils. Right, back to just the dragon colour pencils. Now, I might do her flower on her head. And then we'll finish for the day. Not my birthday. It was Diane's on the tent. Well, in Texas, don't get to see much snow, so it's going to be nine, seven to nine inches in Texas. Wow. Wow. Crazy. We haven't had snow this winter, but it's hitting us now. What I would give for those legs. I know. <laughs> I, think she, I think she's gorgeous. <laughs> as soon as I saw this picture, it's like, oh, I love that, and the, and especially with the dragon. But yeah, she's, she's quite hot, actually. Gorgeous figure on her. My puppies are going to freak. <laughs> White dogs in the white snow, they'll get lost. <laughs> Camouflage. I heard it, Mona. I live in Florida for 17 years, right? But Abby didn't even know it five minutes away. Thank you all. I had to run to the kitchen for dog treats. One of them was 
Come on here, whether the drunk or the tapley. Where the man's drunk. <laughs> Wow, snowing in Texas. Again, guys, don't get that much snow there, but um, nah, nah, when you, yeah, it's like when it snowed here in spring. It's like, what? Like, and it not just snowed a little bit. It covered the place. Um, I've seen it, you know, sprinkle a, a couple of times, but not. it absolutely set the place white. It was awesome. It was a real treat. Well, I'm going to scoot. Heather, it has been a joy and fun as always to hang out with you and all my other colouring peeps. Take care, ladies. No worries, Sherry. You take care of yourself. Thank you for being here. I've already gone over two hours, 22. Oh, I was crying. I wouldn't shut up. Yeah. Is it a pup, Diane? I can't remember. Can you one of the East Coast? I remember seeing a pic you put on Instagram. A big snow. Yep, we had a horrible car pull up. Oh, that! I tell you what. Oh God, I saw a bit of it on the news. A bloody truck come ploughed along in up up the butt of another truck. Oh, it was nearly sent it airborne. Oh, it was terrible. Yeah, hundred and thirty car pile up. It was terrible. But seeing that truck doing a hundred or you know k's or whatever. But whew, he's come flying, nearly made him airborne. He ran right up over, sort of nearly over the top of the trailer of the other truck in front. Oh, it was horrific. Yeah, it was, you lived 20 minutes from there. Yeah, oh, God, it was terrible. Six died in 60, 40. Yeah, it was terrible. Um, um, Just do this flower. Now, we'll try and hurry up. Colours, colours, colours. All right. Okay, I have lavender, which is Yeah, God, that, that was, yeah, bad. Okay, lavender. Come here, pencil. Didn't want to come out to play. Process red, 994. Just lightly, apart from defining between each petal. Yeah, you guys stay safe. I hope, you know, you wear chains on your... Tires in the car if you're driving in that. That's. I mean, if it snows here, and sometimes it doesn't snow, but the ice, the, we get black ice on the road. Um, I have to be a real emergency before I'll go out. I'll just stay home, which is you know the norm for me anyway. But in that kind of condition, no. Now. One's darker than the other one. The Dahlia purple is a bit darker than the Mulberry, so I'm using Dahlia purple. It did look like a movie stunt. It was, oh. Oh, he's five years old. Oh, yeah, 130 cars.
No worries, Kimmy. Heather, you don't have to rush. Take your time. I <laughs> know. <laughs> Thank you, Mona. I know. I've been on two and a half hours. Not that that's um, much for me, considering. I had one lady when I did the um, book collection a few weeks ago, four hours with a question mark, and it's like, well, little man was sleeping, so I thought I'll get it done while I can. <laughs> so I just kept going. <laughs> Took the opportunity, and he ran himself stupid this morning. He was in a right raw mood. He was funny. So um, he's been pretty quiet at the moment. In the middle, I'm using the daily, but I'm just doing a bit of random for the centre. It's hard to see against the blue. And that's why I sort of changed my mind with the colour of the dragon because um, the purples with the dark blue background is sort of just a little bit. Oh, God, I'm not even on screen. Sorry, guys. I think the camera's moved too. Whoops, sorry. Wild ride. There we go. That's not what I want. Where is it? The mulberry. It's a lovely colour, the mulberry. Yeah, you don't go out anymore unless you have to. I'm just cooking and feeding them all day. Yep. Pajama party. <laughs> I've still got my pajamas on. They're, being summer, they're nice and cool. Um, the pants I've got on, so that's what I've been wearing. And, yeah, I don't go out, so who cares? <laughs> Just a little bit of Dahlia in places over the top of the... Um, Just a little bit of mulberry over the top of the Dahlia purple, I should say. A little bit more lilac. Let's blend that in a bit. Lavender. It's not lilac, it's lavender. My God, I should check. Just as well you can pause and rewind and think, hang on, she got that wrong. <laughs> wrong colour. <laughs> I might even use the cream. See how we go. Had to let Roxy out. I couldn't see her white on white. Yeah, Joanna will have the same problem. <laughs> yeah, off the page. Yep. Found that out. Can't see what you're colouring. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm terrible for that. <laughs> Okay, so now, now I know how we can all get rich. Uh, put stickles in your hair, Gorilla Glue Girl made a pocket of money. Being that stupid, so we can do. <laughs> what? Put stickles in your hair, Gorilla Glue Girl. <laughs> Thank you, Kimmy. I have no idea what have you been watching. <laughs> All right, just a little bit of cream. Just blend that in. So it makes... I 
Thank you, Abby. Thank you. It's not clear, is it? Just blending these colours in now. Now, um, for touch-ups with the blue, this blue, this Prussian blue poly um, 246 is perfect. Well, I'll just tidy up the petals a bit. All right, stomach. <laughs> Just make them stand out a little bit more. Just make those panels stand out. And we can even grab just a little bit should be sharp but Tuscan red so Diane I'll look into that after and um, I'll let you know so thank you, because you're the very first one that's used PayPal. So thank you so much. Hello, little man. Where have you been? Behind the curtain in the spare room. Now I'm just going to get a Posca. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we were talking about that earlier, Kimmy. <laughs> oh, McDonald's. Oh, look at that hamburger, chips and tacos. That looks good, Sue. You're making me hungry. Yep, <laughs> that looks good. Oh, <laughs> we could be glitter girls. <laughs> Um, if I had a body like that, I would get in way too much trouble. <laughs> I tried using it and it didn't work. If you, oh, Kimmy, did you really? I love you. Yeah, I don't know if anyone's ever tried before and it's not worked and I didn't know you tried. God love you. Thank you for the thought, guys. Absolutely. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. I was at um, 980 and someone left, but um, like I said earlier, um, you know, 20, 20 odd to go and I'll be at 1,000 and we'll do, have to organise some sort of a giveaway. So just a little bit of Posca there on her flower. I don't like how I've got the outline there on the flowers now that I look at that on screen. You know, we love you more than our shoes. <laughs> we dog shit on them. <laughs> I must be doing something wrong. We'll have to try again. You're welcome, Heather. You need to make it easier. Lots of us are happy to send tokens. Oh. Yeah, I'm just going to... I did the outline in the um, Tuscan red, and I don't really like it. It's too outlined. So I'm just using the cream to bring it back a little bit. 
because I really didn't don't like it. Now yeah, I didn't like it at all. Uh -huh. There's a bird out there on the veranda. He's just rushed to the sliding door there at the screen. And he does his... <coughs> every now and again. <laughs> he's hanging to get outside too, I think. God love him. I feel awful. But he's going to have to wait till he's a little bit older. Because um, I've got one big backyard and a lot of trees to climb and a, and a lot of places to hide and under the house and... I'm not getting under there after him. <laughs> so, um, yeah, when he's a little bit older. Now, I'll quickly do the stem. White olive in the papai for the stem of the flower. Oh, 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 here he comes. Hello, little man, what's he doing? And if you watch the, oh, I don't know, way back near the start of the stream, he was on my knee and his head was sticking out from under the table, so I moved the camera and showed everyone. <laughs> it was so cute. All right, that's light olive. And dark green 229 in the Pablo. Bit of shading underneath her hand. Just down the side of the stem. Back over with the light olive. Should be a little bit sharper, really. We'll go on to the blue, but I can always grab the blue and just fix it up. Just sharpen that up a little bit on the edge of the stem. Tidy up her hand a little bit. What are you doing? A little bit more colour. It's pretty dark against the dark blue, but it's just a little bit of colour here and there. Pretty um, pretty dark. Just a bit of cream there. Not sure about that colour actually. The light olive, I mean. And I'm just grab the poly. Just blend that green out just a bit. Because the dark green Pablo is just a little bit dark. And the olive 
is just a little bit yellowish. So I'm using May Green 170 in the poly just over the top, just because that stem's just a little bit too yellow. Just a little bit yellow, just a bit more green, dark green. It's just killing off that yellow a bit, that's better. <laughs> so that stem's a bit untidy for my liking. <laughs> it looks orange on screen. <laughs> Pencil habit gets expensive. Yes, certainly does. It says it's sent, so I'm assuming it worked. Oh, God, I love you. Oh, hello, Amy. <laughs> I was just about to leave. <sighs> yeah, I have to try again. Happy Valentine's Day to you all. You too, Mona. Thank you for being here. All right, guys. He's looking quite – he's more red off screen, orange on screen. He's, he looks more red. <clears throat> Thank you for being here, everyone, today. Thank you, Diane. I'll check that out. Um, happy Valentine's Day to you all. Thank you, Mona. Thank you, everyone. Hang on a second. All right. It says... Accept your $5 USD from Diane. Um, create an account, which I have, to accept it. Hello, questions. Please go to the PayPal website and click help. Diane sent you money. Accept your $5 today. Note from Diane, you should make. <laughs> and I have to open it up to see the rest. So um, I will look into that. And um, sometimes something nice, a rose, dinner, whatever the case may be. Enjoy your evening. Awesome, guys, for being here. Obviously, he's going to take a bit more time <laughs> to do, but um, it's the same process anyway all over. So that's pretty much what he's going to be like. So it looks like there might be a part three. You know, I might even upload it um, just to get it done. I don't know. We'll see how we go, but I know you're colouring along with me, Diane. Um, all right, guys, enjoy your day, your evening, and everything else. Don't do not do anything I wouldn't do. <laughs> if you're going to do something, be good at it. <laughs> Take care of yourselves, guys. Thank you, everyone, for being here today. See you later.